Both teams going to their bench out of that first mandatory timeout. Tucker attacking again with the lay-in. Off the bench for Delaware, Ivan Rab, Michael Frazier, and Jamario Jones. That is Frazier making an immediate impact. Well, I'll tell you what, I've been impressed with the 905's ball movement, and you're seeing the same thing with the Blue Coats. I mean, they, uh, uh, Rajon you know, puts pressure on the defense and makes the right play. Harry Payton the second has entered. His pass intended for Ellenson broken up. This is what Delaware does. Steals, forced turnovers, and layups on the other end. And Jermario Jones already talking. He does it all game to anybody around him. Stabilizing three, Matt Mooney knocks it down. So either Frazier or Peyton will have the chance to make one it. Of them, yeah, one of them will yeah, be in Yeah, make there. it two in a row. <laughs> and there was not a champion crowned last year as Peyton picks it up mm. and slams it in reverse style. Big shoes to fill. And, you know, and he's showing it right there. He shows his great defensive prowess. And then obviously he has... A great leaping. Gary Payton II did not play in the regular season matchup, so perhaps he could be an X-Factor tonight in the semifinals. Braxton Key knocks it down, but that's how dominant the Raptors' offense was. They were able to overcome a defense that at times was, at lack, was lackluster. Applauded the defensive effort in the quarterfinals against Ignite, a 127-102 victory where they only allowed 17 fourth quarter points. Five straight games and double figures. Gets on the board there with a the free throw worth two. Isaiah mm. Joe ring it up. Not the greatest toss. <laughs> Great pass. Braxton Key has another triple off the bench. On the cut, it's Stauskas up with the left hand and in. See Nick Stauskas here with a tough lefty layup. Lost the handle, four to shoot. Rab working on Johnson, fading away and canning oh, it. Oh, man. Defense, like I said, but better offense. And you see here, Rab gets to the fadeaway. This is Stauskas. Lost it, picked up by Robinson. Justin Robinson pushing ahead and laying it in. Paul Reed has been extremely quiet uh, in eight minutes of play, only two points, one for three shooting. So look for him to get it going soon. Deep into the into the paint with the spin move. Catches Robinson reaching over the top. Then return to the bubble and have to quarantine for four days to re-enter. And he is mm. back just in time for the playoffs. Was in there yesterday and back out there in the semifinals. With the great hands showing and proving why he's the mitten. And another great steal by Mooney. There's Johnson to put it back in. Well, nobody has. I think it's really been the de defenses for both teams that have started. Absolutely. Absolutely. Both defenses has really locked down the offense. Stauskas got blocked by Reed. Ooh. Leads to the run out for Robinson. And for Paul Reed, until he gets going, that's what he has to do, continue to just defend and, and be a, a, a dominant force and nuisance on the other end. I mean, right now, he's challenging every layup, making it tough. There's a starter to begin the season before the injuries mm -hmm. that we outlined. Six point lead and eventually he can get himself back into the game offensively. Whips cross court for three. Braxton Key. Rajon Tucker fires away. High rebound, Jermario Jones battling and pound for pound, one of the best rebounders in the league. Not have these lapses and allow the 905 to get rolling. Jones to Tucker, a nice pivot, ducks underneath and scores. The flash through the middle against the zone to a step through, like he's a big, to an easy layup. Trace Tinkle from deep. As well, getting easy baskets outside of just their half court prowess of moving the ball. Ellenson, bully ball inside, stays with it and gets the bounce. 
uh, yesterday, well, I talked about yesterday off, off air is that they're making Ellison, first of all, have to guard. Delaware won its first seven games of the year. They were the last undefeated team. Isaiah Joe knocks down another three. And now trying to build off the momentum of yesterday's win against the fifth-seeded Austin Spurs. Beautiful bounce pass. Ivan Rab wide open. Catch and shoot off the inbounds. And there's Joe again. Triple of the first half. With 10 attempts, I mean, he, like like you say, there's no shyness about what he wants to do. Team points, I mean, we know if he has a window, he's letting it go. I can't keep up, as you said, his fifth triple, and he could also hit from inside the arc. Oh, he is willing to shoot a, a, a two-point shot. I, I wasn't sure, bud. But he was allergic from getting too close to the rim. <laughs> Robinson gets a little bit of an advantage. Ellenson the rebound. Up ahead to Peyton the second and Stauskas. Oh. But he's been shooting the three at a high clip. Uh, I mean, not bashful at all. And he's been the leading scorer getting it done for the Blue Coat. Oh, acrobatic. Surprised to see a jump ball and not Gary Payton the second involved. <laughs> right. There's Tucker jumping above the rim. There's 905 shooting just three of 18. That's 16% from the three-point line. The defender falls and Mooney makes him pay. This is Mooney driving against Robinson. Robinson scoops it up on the run. Goes right at Stauskas and oh, one. Wow. Having his team prepared for every situation, knowing that Gary Payton is going to drive down the paint, standing in there taking the charge instead of bailing out. It is now 19. Johnson spinning and losing it. Gets it back and puts it in. And, and he talked about it, so you knew that was the topic of converse, conversation coming into this game is like re remember he wanted them to remember what happened Raptors 905 saves it Johnson across midcourt full head of steam for Johnson the block Washburn Reed too strong it's down to Matt Morgan who has the ability to fill it up Ellenson, got it. They faced their largest deficit of the game, and now they are oh. surging end-to-end -end for Alizé Johnson. Can't complain to the referee about not getting calls. You need to get back because what has happened is you're allowing, you know, trans easy transition baskets. Able to help and get to their man, making that three-point shot that the Blue Coats were hitting earlier in the first half a little tougher now. Tucker, another try at it, and he sinks this one. Except for that. Can you point to a player on Raptors 905 that you can say has been key to this turnaround? Peyton the second, denied by Jones. Great defense by Jones there. He's been Peyton got that move on him in the first half, and he was ready for it this time. Michael Frazier off the bench. That just means he doesn't stop talking. <laughs> right, right, right. Swung to Morgan, and he sticks the three. Mentioned Frazier. Michael Frazier is our guy that we know that he's going to go downhill, and he'll get us a basket. Off one leg gives reason to Jones to keep talking. His head coach, Patrick Matumbo, believes he deserves another shot in the association, in part because Matumbo says rebounding travels. Frazier knocks down a three. A guy that can rebound and get you extra possessions is always valuable. Stauskas off the glass and good. Able to get down into the paint. And there it is, just opening, getting open shots for his guys. I mean, they have to knock it down, but that's what you want is not only for him to score, but create for everyone Paul else. Paul Reed in transition. And that's the one thing that 905 do not want to do is just to get out of sorts and do anything What crazy. hands by Peyton the second. Now Johnson lays it in. Whoa. Raptors 905 trailed by 13 to start the third. 
They outscored Delaware by eight in the third. Delaware to an 85-77 lead, and that bucket was brought to you by YouTube TV's Live 85. You too can score 85 plus live channels. Isaiah Joe cutting, scoring, and one. You see Henry Ellison a little short there. And it's, it's, it goes to something I said earlier. I mean, he's having to defend Reed down there. Braxton Key, a perfect five of five from the field for 14 points off the bench. Paul Reed, the rejection. Peyton, the second, stays with it. That was thrown away, and Tucker intercepted. Yeah, Morgan has put himself in, in tough position a couple of times where he's dribbling a little too deep or getting caught in the air. Still time. Yeah, for sure. Braxton Key driving in. What a contribution he has made off the bench. You notice, I mean, they're, they're, you know, whoever Ellison is guarding, they're they're trying to take him off the dribble, make him guard. You know, last night he scored 35. He didn't have to work at it. Uh, age on how to, you know, to really get off your feet. And literally, when when I'm, when you get off your feet, you you, you you get off your feet with your legs. Anything is possible. Uh, from the words of Kevin Garnett, but what, what I'm telling my team now, <laughs> what I'm telling my team now, we take open threes. Coach Connor uh, Johnson having his team prepared uh, for a team that really handled them in the regular season. Hasn't happened. Raptors 905 has scored at least 100 in every game. Transition for Reed. Final two minutes, it's the NBA standard. Jalen Harris elevates for two. Johnson sticking with it. 23 points, 15 rebounds for Alizé Johnson. Tough catch, Joe Paul Reed rocks the rim. Great job by the Blue Coast once again, just moving the ball, finding the open man, handling the defensive pressure perfectly. Well-disciplined team outside of the lapses. You know, the one thing about that what you like about this that is encouraging outside of the lapses they're able to lock back in get themselves focused i mean you definitely have to give the edge to, to this young man right here uh you know because of what he's done on the defensive end as well i think is their defensive effort locking back in because offensively you know they were still in rhythm and they were still scoring you know they were just turning the ball over doing silly stuff as well not anymore I have to add, is it's, you know, it, this guy is flying under the radar somewhat. Robinson, with what he's doing, he has 15 points and 14 assists. You get a point guard who can score, who can shoot the ball, who can make plays for himself, but makes plays for others. And he's made this game so easy for the Blue Coats. Raptors 905 got to 100, but this is their lowest scoring output for the best offensive team in the league.